It's something that most farmers have heard of, but few know exactly how it works. Facial eczema is actually a disease of the liver and ruminants, and it is caused by uh, fungal spores that grow predominantly in ryegrass pastures. It's called Pitomyces chartarum, and what happens is, is that they grow in, in conditions that are suitable for their growth in ryegrass, um, namely in moist, warm conditions, typically associated with summer and autumn, pass autumn rains. And then the animals ingest them, the, uh, the spore releases a toxin in the rumen, it's called spore desmond, and it is that spore desmond that actually causes liver damage. Andrew Oakley feels the major issue is the lack of education on the subject. The lack of education in, in New Zealand is typified by farmers by saying, I only lose one or two animals a year. If that is the case, then what they're not seeing is the 40%, um, 50% losses that they're occurring in the rest of the herd. That those, are the, those are the animals that the symptoms he will not see, but he'll definitely be having some losses. What's hard to understand is that facial eczema can't be cured. Say 1% of animals with clinical signs, there's going to be typically 40% of the herd will be affected by facial eczema. And that's where the big production losses occur. Most of the areas affected by the disease are in the North Island, where warmer temperatures combined with rains provide perfect breeding grounds. The major areas affected by facial eczema will be the Waikato, Northland, Bay of Plenty, and probably the Wairapa areas, and some in Taranaki as well. Waikato farmer Bruce Wallace says he has had problems with facial eczema on and off since 1998. I would think in our worst years we probably, I would estimate between fifty and hundred thousand dollars it cost us in lost stock and uh, lost production and you've got to remember it's not only that year's production it's the year after that affects as well and um, just so demoralising especially when you put a system in place spend a lot of money trying to control it and it fails. If you ask Bruce what the worst part of farming is, he has no hesitation. The worst part of facial eczema is once the cows get the disease, there's not a lot you can do for it. So it's just prevention, prevention, prevention basically. And um, don't put the cows through it and don't put yourself through it because it'll, it'll bury you if it, if it carries on. It's important that farmers keep on top of spore counts by sending away faecal matter or pasture samples to the lab to be tested. Once the results have come back, researchers may advise them to use time captures or other methods to help prevent facial eczema. Scott Milligan, Country 99 TV News.